Hey guys, just doing a quick project here. Um, I need a carriage stop and an indicator holder for the lathe. Uh, I know there's a ton of these out there, so I'm just going to try to do this one as a quick um, uh, project uh, just to maybe show a different idea. <laughs> and I don't know how this is going to come out. I'm designing it on the fly. I've got a piece of material already squared up here, aluminum. Um, and I'm trying to make it so I can use either the two inch travel indicator or the standard one inch travel indicator and also incorporate the, uh, the stop screw. So it'll be a dual purpose uh, device here. So let's go over to lathe and, and uh, see if we can take a look at what we're scheming on here. Okay, so here's the cardboard <laughs> mock-up, <laughs> if you will. And so we've got a, a stop screw, which which um, you can remove if you're not using the stop screw. And this is the, the standard one inch micrometer. So the idea is here, it'll, it'll clamp onto the ways, something like that. I can get way back in here if necessary. And of course, move anywhere along. And uh, we're lining up on the south bend. You've got a um, factory uh, milled surface here for indicator or stop block, what have you. So both of them should make contact on that same milled surface. And I wanted to be able to get way back in here in case I'm using the collet chuck or the collet holder. Uh, I'd still have enough travel uh, not to interfere with, uh, you know, getting in closer to the to the headstock. All right, let's see how it looks with the uh, longer indicator. Okay, so the two-inch travel indicator is going to. Oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> Is going to function something like this. I, I had to make sure I was high enough to clear the gearbox back here and also still make contact with the uh, with the machine pad here on the on the uh, carriage or saddle. So anyways that's kind of my plan. Um, I'm designing this as I go <laughs> so I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, let's just uh, keep moving here and see what we end up with. Okay, there's a quick look at the layout. A little crude, but I think we'll be okay. okay. Let me take you over to the...
All right, so continuing on here, here's our stop block, uh, indicator block. Um, one thing I've changed from the, from the drawing is I added a channel in here, a relief cut. Um, due to the wear on, on my lathe, there's a ridge on the top of the way, so I had to have a way of, of uh, allowing relief for that so that the block would sit flat down on the ways. Um, I've, I've got this laid out for the bore hole or drill hole for the, uh, the it'll actually hold the indicator. And you can see I've got this marked out, this material we need to remove for clearance. And we've got to cut a little off the end here also. So next operation is going to be to drill that hole. Once I get that drill, then I'll probably come back in and lay out for the, uh, the stop screw. Okay, let's get back at it. Okay guys, we're back over here at the mill. Um, trying out a new camera location, so hopefully you can see okay. Um, I've already uh, centered up over our whole location with the wiggler. So we're just gonna center drill. Okay, here's our reamer. It's a 373. Okay. The two indicators I'm going to be using, this one's got the largest shank size. Uh-oh. Well, guys, <laughs> that doesn't look like it's going to work. Okay. All right, let me rummage around and uh, see what else I have. Worst case, we'll just have to drill it out with, a, with an end mill. Okay guys, we're gonna go with an end mill. Only thing I had long enough was a four flute. Uh, I had a, I had one two flute, but it was a regrind, regrind, so it would have wouldn't have been accurate enough anyway. So let's just go with this. An upcoming project is going to be routing a new airline over here by the mill. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got. Nice. It's got just a tiny bit of wiggle, but that'll be fine. Okay, so while we're set up here, 
gonna need a, a set screw for that. I'm already on center, so, and I'm lined up at the back of the jaw here. So we're just gonna rotate our part. The little supervisor dog wanted out. <laughs> okay. Okay guys, I'm gonna pause the camera for a minute. I gotta lay out our uh, our center here and uh, grab a few items and we'll be right back. <laughs> 